Y'all know nothing about this, you need to pay attention. Sit back and relax, it's time for Goodall's Country Kitchen. Shelbyville's got a lot of history. I could go in and make a history video just about Shelbyville. You know, a lot of people don't know Squire Boone actually settled originally what would later become Shelbyville during the Revolutionary War in the late 1700s. But anyway, speaking of nostalgia, Convenient Food Mart, I grew up right down the street from a convenient, used to hang out there all the time, buy candy as a kid. Uh, I used to hear stories in high school about underage teenagers going in there and buying beer, but I don't know nothing about that. But anyway, I had a couple people recommend it to me. Uh, you know, I like that country store vibe, but anyway, they said they got some really good food and sandwiches here. So this morning, I was kind of scanning through things, trying to figure out what I was going to review today. And I got on their Facebook page, Convenience uh, Food Mart food Facebook page, and scrolled through the pictures. And I saw a picture that made the alarm sound off in my head. Now I'm gonna sneak in there incognito and I wanna give me a meatloaf sandwich just like that picture. And if it's anything close to what it looks like in that picture, I'm gonna have to pull a double snapping turtle and a anaconda technique just to get my mouth around it. So stay tuned, sneak in here, and I wanna see what it's like. All right, now stick around for a quick word from me and my latest sponsor. All right, I've got Larry Miller with LM Roofing. Uh, first of all, we're extremely excited about our partnership here with Goodall. Uh, we look forward to what he does in the future and what we do. So we are a third generation family owned roofing business based out of Bullock County, Kentucky. We service the entire Kentucky area. So if there's anything, no matter how big or small, we can get you took care of. And like he said, size really doesn't matter. So make sure you mention this ad and you get a 10% discount. And don't forget to tell them that Goodall's Country Kitchen sent you. All right. So they had no idea who I was. Totally incognito. And let me just tell you before I start. I looked at the other food they had going on in there, and I know you saw all those cars. That place is busy for a reason. I looked at the stuff they were putting out, the burgers, the fish, all kinds of different stuff. This is a fat man's paradise, I'm telling you. I mean, just look at that meatloaf. That's gotta be a good two inches thick. So it is just like that picture I posted. And look at that, uh, it's got that ketchup base. I had them put mayonnaise and onion on it. If you're getting a meatloaf sandwich, you gotta get mayonnaise and onion. That's all there is to it. All right, now I gotta do that Burmese python, uh, double snapping turtle, you know, Burmese python. I said Burmese because a Burmese python can eat a full size pig. So that's gonna be me right here. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh my. This is good meatloaf. And by the way, I saw on their Facebook page, they make meatloaf every day. So you can come out there and get a good sandwich any day of the week. And by the way, this sandwich was $4.79, including tax. You ain't gonna get a meatloaf sandwich like that anywhere, especially for $4.79. In a lot of places, they'll sell meatloaf you might get a slice big enough to put on a biscuit and that don't do nothing but make me mad and never want to come back. This right here, a meatloaf sandwich like this, I will travel clear across the state to get something like this. This is good as it gets right here. All right, I'm gonna finish this up and I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna start making my way through their menu. Everybody ready to go in and came across this very nice young lady here, Greta. And I was asking her her opinion. I told her what I was doing, and she started in telling me about this place. Go ahead, Greta. Tell me what you were starting in to tell me there. 
I was telling you that this restaurant, the convenience store behind me, never judge the book by the cover. That restaurant jumps. Uh, I own the business next door. Many times uh, my people can't even get, uh, get in because people are parked up and down trying to get to this convenient food mark market. They sell fish, chicken, um, you name it, breakfast food, hamburgers, they're big, they have a very booming business and it jumps all well, the time. Like she said, it was jumping. When I came in here, I tried to set my camera up, tripod up there by those gas pumps. I was about ready to get run over again. Yes, For y'all that didn't know, I got ran over by a school bus last November. I ain't trying to end up in intensive care again. But anyway, Greta, I really appreciate your input. And if y'all get out this way in Shelbyville, Make sure you head into Main Street Millionaires. You got it. You got and it. And y'all don't know nothing about those Main Street Millionaires <laughs> or Greta. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Before I get my next entree, I want to show you a quick look around the place. Uh, as you see, one of my favorite fountain drinks. Love the place with the soda fountain. This is what I was telling y'all when I was outside. Look at those that fish. Crinkle fries, wedges, rings, uh, and that fried chicken. Those look like those look like turkey legs or something in there. And I don't know if that's fish, pork chops. I'm not sure. The dag on. I ain't never seen drumstick legs that big. But yeah, they got it going on here. Got that flat top grill back here. I seen they had about ten burgers on there a minute ago. And over here, I'm gonna be getting me a Diet Pepsi here in just a second. And of course, like the old convenient food mart, they got all the groceries, just about anything you need. And it's a good thing I got here when I did because I got the last meatloaf sandwich. All right, coming around here, they got high top counter, they got tables, they got some cute booths up there by the windows. Watch the traffic go by. Right over here, young lady, where that tripod is. All right. Well, I'm about ready to start in on this fish and onion ring. Be right. All right. So, look at this rye bread here and this fish. This is gonna be a huge sandwich. I like this looks of this breading. Tartar sauce. Look at that. It's got a nice thin breading on it. It's like cornmeal and flour in the breading. I'm really liking this bright bread. Mm. That's definitely a good quality cod. Good white and flaky. Very tasty. Alright. Now I'm going to move on to the onion rings. I know y'all heard that crunch. Mm. I'm telling you what, there's people coming and going in here in droves. This could be one of the best hidden gems I've ever come across. All right, I'm gonna finish up on this and then I'm gonna get another couple items. This is too good. I might end up overeating a little bit today. So, you haters out there, don't like my table manners. Disclaimer right now, you might want to click out because it's about ready to get ugly. People are packing in here. Can't hardly uh, find room to even get in the line. People lined up, and those ladies back there are slinging hash. Let me tell you, it reminds me of the old good old country store days. 
same exact thing. Go up to the counter, place your order, take your name, bring it out. Old school country store vibe. I'm loving it. All right, you can see I made short work of that. Now moving along, I got what they called the mule lip, fried bologna. Got all the fixings on it. And you can see it comes grilled bun. They know what they're doing here. If you go to the place they don't grill the bun, you know it's amateur hour. Anyway, the fried bologna is only $4. You ain't gonna get another fried bologna like this with all the fixings for $4. All right, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. So good. I'm trying to hold down on the animal noises. I got people at the tables next to me. I don't want to disturb their lunch. Alright, I asked the owner what he recommended on the sides. He said they make their own uh, peeled fresh mashed potatoes every day with some good country white gravy. Mm. And if you didn't think I had enough starch, I had to go ahead and get me an order of mac and cheese. Look at that, good and creamy. Looks like white cheddar. Mm. Perfect. That mac and cheese is slapping. All right. Like I said, around my table, if you don't like them smacking noises, you don't want to get around my house. It sounded like a slap boxing match. Mm. Mm. All right. I'm going to keep working on this fried bologna. And I don't know, might even have another item left in me. Right now, I'm up to $28 between that meatloaf, the fish, the ring, fried bologna, a couple sides, large drink. I'm at $28 right now. Could have easily have fed four people right now for $28, bucks, and I might not be finished. Be right back. I forgot to order the daggone home fries, and I, I saw that mac and cheese up on the menu and got distracted, but I had intended on getting these fresh peeled potato home fries. It don't get no more good country than this. They also told me that I had to get some of their uh, ice cream here, soft serve. Come on through, young lady, you're good. He said, get the banana, but they got uh, strawberry, banana, chocolate, and vanilla. I'm gonna be getting into that real soon. All right, so owner told me to get the banana ice cream. But I was talking to another young man at the register and he told me that they actually make the banana and the strawberry in-house with real bananas, real strawberries. I went ahead and put the candy on their uh, sprinkles just for looks. But anyway, check this out. I don't generally get strawberry. I usually get chocolate or vanilla. They said they use real strawberries in it, so I gotta check it out. Mm. Oh yeah, you can taste the fresh strawberries. It's definitely different than any soft serve strawberry I've had, that's for sure. You can tell it's fresh. And homemade. Mm. All right, now here we go with the banana. Oh yeah. I just love that you can you can taste the fresh fruit in these. Very different and delicious. Mm. So these are a dollar fifty fifty nine each. So so far, meatloaf sandwich, half pound fish sandwich, onion rings. Fried bologna, mac and cheese, mashed potatoes and gravy, two ice creams, large drink, 
I'm at $31 right now. Where in the world you gonna go and get this kind of quality food, man-sized portions, blue-collar prices? Where are you gonna get that? All right, I'll be back in a minute. Might not be done. You never know. All right, wrapping it up. Everything was top-notch, and I mean everything. This is a great discovery I just made. Let me give you a little info. All the good home cooking is Monday through Friday. They are open on Saturdays, but they don't do all the home cooking. They have like some things they can make, but like all the plate lunches and stuff, that's just during the week. I was also told their breakfast is phenomenal. I was hearing about some sandwich where it's got like six pieces of bacon, a couple of eggs and all kinds of different stuff on it. It's like a three pound sandwich or something for breakfast. They say the gravy, the sausage gravy and biscuits, homemade, excellent. And as good as that lunch was, I can guarantee you that breakfast is top notch also. All right, next time you're out here in Shelby County, Shelbyville, stop in here, do a little lunch, tour around the town. There's all kinds of historic sites to see around here. Like I said, Daniel Boone's brother, Squire Boone, uh, actually first settler here at Painted Stone Settlement during the Revolutionary War. All kinds of stuff to see around this uh, town here. But anyway, uh, I'm definitely going to be stopping in again, and y'all don't know nothing about this convenient food mart. Now you know the facts of why I'm on a mission. You're always welcome back to Goodall's Country Kitchen.